10 Poorest Towns in England Regardless of how affluent a country is, poverty is still going to mark its presence in some of its communities, even if it's not that gripping. This situation is quite obvious in England. To define the poorest towns in England, we have to look at towns with neighbourhoods lacking basic social infrastructures such as parks, pubs and sporting facilities. They are also towns with little or no government funding to catch up with other towns in the availability of shops, cultural assets, sports facilities and open spaces where people can meet and engage in community life. In this video, we shall discuss some of the 10 poorest towns in England to illustrate this point. 10. Rochdale If you have to understand the poverty state of this large town in Greater Manchester, check successive government figures about the LSOA, which includes Rochdale Town Centre, based on the Index of Multiple Deprivation IMD. You'd see that in all domains of income, wages, employment, education, health and housing, the town is among the most deprived. For almost a decade when the attention has been shifted to this town as one of the poorest towns in the UK, a number of scathing articles have featured its condition in the national press. In response, a network of multi-million pound plans has been put in place which to transform the area. For instance, the town's housing association is working on upgrading the township housing scheme. However, this doesn't come without a fierce backlash in form of petitions. 9. Hastings There's nothing to really justify millions of pounds of investment in Hastings on the southeast coast of England. For decades it's been ranked repeatedly as one of the most deprived towns in England. Grassroots charities' efforts to improve things with programmes such as Neighbour Helping Neighbour have not been successful. Food charities are unable to bridge the gap. In Hastings, there's the catchy phrase, heating or eating, which shows how bad it is to access basic amenities there. Politicians and journalists usually emphasise the phrase to illustrate the daily dilemma of people who have serious struggles to make ends meet. After feeding, you may not have enough to heat your home and have to endure cold. School attendance and attainment are nothing to write home about here, as too many children go up in poor households. 8. Darwen Data from towns in Lancashire gave us an insight into how poor Darwen is. It is among the top five most dangerous medium-sized towns in the ceremonial and non-metropolitan county of Lancashire, and it is among the overall top 20 most dangerous out of 236 towns, villages and cities in the area. Consider the overall crime rate in the town in 2021, which was 99 crimes per 1,000 people. It is 22% higher than Lancashire's overall crime rate of 77 per 1,000. Additionally, Darwin is the 57th most dangerous medium-sized town in all of England, Wales and Northern Ireland. Why are we highlighting the crime situation in Darwin? Because the town is very poor and poverty there is aiding crime. 7. Oldham Oldham in Greater Manchester will not be here if it had maintained its proud history as one of the 19th century largest cotton-producing areas on the globe. However, it suffered the same fate as most of the textile industrial towns in England when the foreign competition was too stiff and was strangulating the local industry. Ever since Oldham has not been able to find an alternative route to sustainable prosperity. Many areas in the town are among the poorest neighbourhoods in Britain. According to a respected resident, there is nothing for kids around here. He added that children would come around your home and knock on your door with a request to sing for you just to get one pound to survive. 6. Blackburn Can you believe that you're finding Blackburn on this list? Imagine the town once called the weaving capital of the world, now among the poorest in England. The scene of the world has really changed. This was a former mill town leading the way in textiles for centuries. But with the death of the textile industry in the 20th century, the town sunk into poverty as thousands of jobs went down with the industry. What you would now find in the town are a lot of underqualified workers and their children being raised in poverty. Many of the families have only one economically active member, while the majority are out of work. 5. Burnley The story of Burnley gives credence to the saying, no condition is permanent. This was the town that helped power the Industrial Revolution. It was a mining town, an engineering hub and one of the biggest manufacturers of cotton worldwide. 
When the textile industry had to struggle against foreign competition in the 20th century, this town also in Lancashire experienced a steady and irreversible decline in its economy and population. Today, those who manage to work with struggling big manufacturers in the town earn over £100 less per week than the national average. This is in addition to deep social ills, such as high drug death rates, as it has the second highest number of heroin or morphine-related deaths in England behind Blackpool. 4. Middlesbrough The people living in this town in the 19th century, when the town was booming following the discovery of iron ore in the 1840s, couldn't have imagined that the town would become this poor. In fact, at some point during the century, Middlesbrough was the producer of a third of Britain's iron ore output. Unfortunately, the glory of the past has left the town. Among many factors that bring Middlesbrough here, income deprivation among children attracts our attention the most. We love children and we hate to see them suffer. It ranks alongside Blackpool as the most deprived district in this domain. The operators in the industries struggling to survive by the late 20th century have been closing their doors in quick succession. Now high unemployment and drug issues are the order of the day there. 3. Dagenham The third poorest town in England on our list is Dagenham, a town in Far East London. It was once a thriving symbol of modern Britain when the going was good. The town came to real life decades after the Second World War when lines of row houses sprang up there. The UK was still an industrial powerhouse then. Houses in Dagenham served the noble purpose of accommodating the thousands of factory workers working nearby. Unfortunately, the town's proximity to London hasn't helped it. It has become one of the most deprived areas in England. It's a forgotten town in the suburb of East London. What you'll find there today are shabby storefronts and boarded up pubs. Hardly would you find evidence of its industrial heyday, which has given way in recent years to poverty and racial tension. 2. Knowsley This is a large village in the metropolitan borough of Knowsley. In this one of the poorest towns in England, one in five children lives in poverty. Thus, it's one of the most deprived boroughs in the whole of the United Kingdom. Since 2019, the number of families claiming universal credit has soared, so also the number of schoolchildren depending on free school meals. Nearly half of secondary school pupils in the borough are now in receipt of this provision for the economically disadvantaged. In addition, families of more than a third of primary school pupils depend on support with lunchtime meals. Authorities in charge of this town have expressed concerns about the increase in mental issues traceable to the pressures of living in poverty. The poverty state of this town is a result of low parental income and employment rate. 1. Blackpool Blackpool again tops this list. Everything that is working against Middlesbrough is also working against this town. For instance, both towns have been ranked the most deprived district as far as income deprivation among children is concerned. Do you remember what has been said about Hastings and Burnley earlier in this video? Blackpool is also facing all those challenges, thereby accounting for also three quarters of the most deprived in their areas and the highest number of deaths from heroin and morphine. That is why the town that was once a booming holiday destination has now become an attraction for tacky stag and hen parties. For instance, on its heydays, Blackpool was attracting 17 million visitors a year, but now the number of yearly visitors has fallen to less than 8 million. Those coming to visit are only looking to see what the town has to offer in terms of past glory. Today, the town has one of the highest drug death rates in the country. Conclusively, the Index of Multiple Deprivation considers these towns as having most of the most deprived LSOAs. What do you think about these towns? Please let's have your views in the comment section. Thank you for watching this video. Please don't forget to subscribe, comment and turn on the notification bell. This is Learning Canteen.